Hi, I'm Brian with ericsontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss how fog forms. So fog um, occurs when the air temperature um, comes within 4 degrees Fahrenheit of the dew point. So dew point is simply the temperature at which um, water goes from gas to liquid, so the, the temperature at which water condenses. Um, so uh, fog is generally associated with low visibility, um, and there are four main ways that fog forms. Um, each has its own name and its own uh, way of formation. So we'll look at those four. So our first type of fog is radiation fog. Radiation fog commonly occurs in valleys. Um, as the sun goes down, um, the earth releases the latent heat back into the air, and uh, if the air is cool enough, um, this will cool down um, the air, and when it reaches the dew point, it'll turn into fog. Um, since the cooler air is heavier than the warm air, um, it'll settle down um, due to gravity, and that's why you often find radiation fog in valley bottoms. Um, the second type of fog is adduction fog. A great example of adduction fog is along the California coast. So what you have is a warm, moist air front that's moving. Um, it comes in contact with a cool current of water, and uh, this cool current cools down the air, and it's possible that the um, contact point cools down the air enough that it gets uh, to the temperature at which it's going to condense. Um, so because this isn't dependent on the time of day, it can happen any time of day, um, adduction fog can stick around for a very long time. Um, this is why places like London and San Francisco can get fogged in for extended periods. It's due to adduction fog. The third type of fog is upslope fog. So this simply happens when a warm, air, warm moist air mass gets pushed up a mountain or hill. Um, as it gets pushed up, it, the air cools and it condenses. Um, this is typically found around mountain peaks and those sorts of places that uh, get fogged in. And then our last type of fog is steam fog. Um, steam fog occurs when a cool air mass moves over a relatively warm um, water body or land mass. Um, so this is kind of the opposite. The warm heat air coming off the water body um, meets that cold air mass and, and causes the water to condense. Um, and that forms steam fog. So this has been a discussion of the four main types of fog and how they form.